can we disassociate the energy or the energy field with a past relationship from the person? Our parents, especially, or some other significant relationships where there was a lot of control from their side on us, a lot of influence or a lot of power, where whether out of respect or in some way in inferior position, let's say a boss or something like that, there was this dark energy cloud overpowering, not empowering, but disempowering that made you feel helpless or powerless or sad or angry, that made you feel less than you, sometimes even made you make compromises that you didn't want to make, or made you steer in the direction opposite of where you wanted to go or different from the direction of your life, of your liking. So we tend to throw the baby with the bathwater or associate that energy with the person. We are talking about how do you disassociate the dark cloud of energy of that relationship on us? Disassociating that from the person so I can love the person But get rid of that dark force, that dark energy. Think of a person in your life who had a strong influence in your life. Mother, father, teacher, grandparent, spouse, in-laws, an older sibling. Pick one. In some cases, I would be even inclined to say your grown-up adult child who is wielding a lot of power over you. That is also inclusive. It all depends upon your age in this lifetime right now, your stage in life, and who is having that influence over you. In most of the cases, it will be some sentences that you might have heard that keep on ringing in your head over and over again. And they carry energy. They have energy field. So the idea is not to focus on the person or what that person said or have said over a period of time over and over again. The idea is to focus on just the energy, including how they made you feel. Disassociating the sentences, once you discover the person and the sentence, then you leave that alone and focus just on the energy, the power it has and how it makes you feel. And you get hold of that and then cleanse it, release it out of your system, and in its place, replace it, because energy cannot be created or destroyed. When you release that energy, you replace it with the divine energy. And the process for us is the maypole, the Liz Crystal Method maypole, where you connect to the high C, and you breathe in that strengthening energy from the high C, and you breathe out some of this weakening energy that makes you powerless, that makes you compromise your values, that make you compromise your choices, that makes you feel less of you than who you really are. I will do a separate video on the napal, dealing with just a couple of energies, breathing in strengthening energy and breathing out anything that makes you feel weak physically, mentally, emotionally, or otherwise. And pure, unconditional divine love. Breathe it in from the high sea with your connection to the maypole through your ribbon or heart-to-heart connection. And filling yourself, body, mind, heart, everything, spilling outside of you, overflowing your entire personality, your aura, your everything, what you know about yourself, what you don't know about yourself, but it exists. Soaking yourself in, allowing yourself to heal in this pool of pure, unconditional, divine love. And you may want to do this exercise again and again and again, because that dark cloud of energy from the past may take several rounds because it may be very large. And you let go of it as much as you want to or can, or as little as you want to. 
and then you take it easy. After doing the exercise, you drink fluids, rest, and do something that you love. Do something that makes you happy. Listen to your heart. Time to reclaim your life. Time to reclaim your energy. Time to reclaim yourself. Time to reclaim who you really are. Honor yourself. Live yourself. Live the life that you deserve, that your heart wants. Let go of toxic negativity, abusive past, anything that was untruthful for you. Let go. And don't feel guilty just because that person may have been a parent, a grandparent, a sibling, or a close relationship or a loved one. That is why we are doing this exercise while holding on to the maypole, to your high seat, to your higher self, so that you are not alone. I see, or your Ishtadev, or your God, you're holding on to it at all time, so that you have the highest source of energy available to you. You're not alone. That is one step closer to love all, serve all. I love me.